Well, here we are again. Hyundai, Hyundai, and Hyundai. Don't buy a Hyundai. Don't buy a Hyundai. All right, let me clarify. If you want a smooth running car that has lots of power, and when you take it to the dealer for repairs, they don't give you a big hassle, and they look at you with open arms, and they act very professional, then don't buy a Hyundai. But if you want a car that when you take it to the dealer for repairs, they give you a big hassle, and they don't tell you the truth about the car, and they claim that the car has a vibration, and that vibration is normal, then buy Hyundai. You see, the experience I'm talking about here is that I took this car, not this one in this picture of course, but a car the same model and year, 2010, to the Hyundai dealer, still under warranty, to the Hyundai dealer at LAX, which is a Los Angeles airport area, that's Los Angeles, California. I had a vibration and it was vibrating into the front right seat and vibrating into the back seat of the car. And let me tell you, if you Google Hyundai vibration, you will get about 40,000 hits of different various makes of Hyundai, not just the Hyundai Accent, which is pictured in this picture. Anyway, if 20,000 of those people actually have a vibration, if a thousand of those people actually have a vibration. Anyway, the dealer replaced two of the motor mounts. Now, that reduced the vibration by about 90%, but there's still two other motor mounts which the dealer did not replace. Now, sometimes certain mechanics will tell you you should replace all motor mounts at the same time. After all, this particular car we're talking about only has 37,000 miles, but the dealer admitted that the motor mounts had been revised. That was his word. Now, revised says to me, recall, because I can bet you that Hyundai has not sent out a notice to all Hyundai Accent owners that this car, whoever has bought one, needs to have motor needs to have the revised motor mounts replaced. I can bet you Hyundai has not done that. But anyway, it did reduce the vibration by about 90%, but the vibration was still there. I took it back to the dealer this, within an hour and I said, the vibration is still there. They said, that's normal. I said, that's not normal to have a vibration in the back seat of your car. They said, all four cylinders do it. I said, you mean all Hyundai four cylinders? I said, I've had four cylinder brand new cars and they didn't vibrate in the back seat. Anyway, make a long story short, the dealer just put down the vibration was gone. But they put that in writing, knowing full well that the vibration was still there. Well, I took it to another dealer. I took it to uh, Hyundai Vermont, which is on Vermont Avenue in Los Angeles, California. And the dealer there, uh, the uh, uh, manager's name is Harry O. Harry O. O-H. His phone number is 213-387-9999. Well, you know something? What do you think Harry O said? Do you think Harry O said, uh, oh yeah, you know, we're going to fix that because we need to put one of the other motor mounts in or we need to check your plugs, we need to check the computer. Harry O didn't do any of that. And I said to Harry O, there's a vibration here. That's not normal. Well, Harry O said the same thing that LAX Hyundai said. He said, it's normal. I said, uh does every car on this lot have a vibration like this one? He said, yes. Now, folks, technically, that can't possibly be true. 
Cars are in all kinds of conditions. Some cars need a tune-up. Some cars don't. Some cars are brand new. Some cars are not. Some cars need a, a, a alternator belt. Uh, some cars need spark plugs. Every car on that lot couldn't possibly have the same vibration, but that's what Harry O maintains. I say that Hyundai should put out a disclaimer that all of its cars have a vibration and that if you want a car with a vibration then you take the risk of buying a Hyundai because Hyundai represents that the vibration is normal and they should have that disclaimer on all of their new car stickers because I think it's an unfair business practice the public should be warned in advance that, that there is a vibration or that there may be a vibration that Hyundai claims that all of its cars vibrate and that this vibration is not normal by standards of comparing it to other cars over the history of automaking and that Hyundai feels that the vibration is normal I think there should be a disclaimer on all Hyundai cars now there, there, there are different things that can, can cause a vibration or a shudder on a car bad spark plugs you need a tune-up your, your fan belts your alternator belt is loose or maybe your alternator belt is too tight your belts are no good you need to replace the alternator belt okay that that could cause some type of movement that's not normal okay uh, your air filter could be clogged up really really dirty that could possibly cause a vibration of sorts and of course you know I think that most Americans a lot of people just don't look under the hood of their car and there could be a lot of things vibrating under the hood of the car I don't think that's the issue because that obviously is an engine problem that you know people are going to notice if they open up that hood but if you don't feel it in the passenger compartment you don't expect to feel it in the passenger compartment you don't expect to, expect to need to tune up and the entire car is vibrating especially on the right side of the car so um, so let so let me clarify that I'm only speaking of a vibration when the car is in idle in park the car is in park it's idling I'm speaking of that kind of vibration because obviously when you're driving the car there could be other things like bad tires that could cause a similar problem but I'm speaking of only in idle uh, again LAX Hyundai says that the vibration is normal that all their cars vibrate um, Vermont Hyundai and that's in, in Los Angeles California they say that all their cars vibrate also and I've already said to you what could possibly cause it um, motor mounts could definitely cause the car to vibrate the engine to not be balanced properly because of a need for motor mounts whether that uh, would vibrate through the rest of the car I don't know but I know that in this particular case Hyundai did replace two out of four motor mounts and it did reduce uh, the vibration by about 90 percent however the rest of the vibration is still there and to me it's not normal if you had a diesel car or if you had a uh, dump truck or if you had something from 1950 you know maybe that car would vibrate but when you have a 2010 car and you're paying you know ten thousand twelve thousand fifteen thousand dollars either cash or payments you really don't expect there to be a vibration in the back seat and you really don't expect to go to a dealer who says to you hey it's normal at least I don't expect that now if you go online and try to search for Hyundai technician you may find uh, some websites where Hyundai technicians have taken the effort to try to figure out what the problem is um, and there are two websites I did check out I'm not going to give you the sites right now but um, you can find them pretty easily just look for a 15-year Hyundai technician or just look for any of the sites that have to do with um, Hyundai accent repairs Hyundai accent uh, vibrations but let me tell you what two technicians said 
and again I want to caution you that I'm reading from what they said and uh, they don't necessarily say that it's a Hyundai accent excuse me and uh, they're talking about other Hyundai's as well as accents but this is what two of the technicians said um, one technician said that it was the timing chain he said that the timing chain was slack and this is on the 16 valve twin cam 1.6 Hyundai engine the timing chain is slack according to the Hyundai tech and this is what's causing a vibration in the uh, passenger cabin of the Hyundai accent and it could this could apply to other Hyundai's also and keep in mind here that the uh, repair shop at Hyundai LAX and also Vermont Hyundai neither one of them offered to check the timing chain neither one of them offered to uh, talk about the timing chain and obviously you know this could be a recall situation this could be a safety issue and this could also of course uh, you know uh, be a considerable financial loss to Hyundai if they had to recall all these cars and fix the timing chain another a second Hyundai technician and there's probably other ones on the internet said that it was these are the three options he gave he said it could be the timing belt it could be the upper engine mount he didn't say transmission mount he said upper engine mount could be failing and he said the EGR valve could be stuck open now this is from a Hyundai technician that responded to a question on April 25, 2011 so you can look it up Hyundai technician April 25, 2011 he certified for 15 years 15 years and he says that the vibration is caused by a timing belt problem or the upper engine mount failing or the EGR valve stuck open and again he's talking about a Hyundai I'm not going to say which one uh, but again you have to look at the year of your Hyundai I know that in this particular instance I'm talking about a 2010 Hyundai that's having a vibration so um, again this is what two technicians say so the question would be why is Hyundai LAX engaged in an unfair business practice concealing what Hyundai already knows is causing the vibration and why is Vermont Hyundai and Los Angeles California concealing what Hyundai already knows that the vibration is possibly caused by a problem with the timing belt the timing chain or the upper engine mount again if you want a car that vibrates throughout the passenger compartment and if you want to deal with a um, manufacturer excuse me a automakers dealer a dealership who will not tell you the truth and who will not fix the repairs then you're welcome to buy a Hyundai but if you want a smooth running car that acts normal and you want to have a dealership who is going to be open to you and truthful about the repairs do not buy a Hyundai again do not buy a Hyundai today's date is October 16th it's a Sunday 2011